Big earnings of the day. Reliance Industries coming out with its second quarter numbers, registering a steady performance across all sectors. Our team is standing by to go over the fine print. Uh, Sona, let's start with you, the overall numbers and performance. Uh, well, Shireen, thank you for that. It was a good set. If we talk about uh, the profit number, it has come in better than what the street was working with. O2C business continued to be under pressure because of lower pet care margins and oversupply situation that we've been seeing in the markets as well. The consumer business reported soft revenue growth, but something that was good was the EBITDA growth that this business saw this time around. Geo reported strong numbers supported by tariff hikes and profits were up 20% as well for this business. Let me take you through the consolidated numbers. Revenues flat at 2.3%. 32 lakh crore rupees, EBITDA came in at 39,058 crore rupees, margins better than estimated at 17% and profit number that came in at 16,563 crore rupees, the poll was somewhere around 15,500 crore rupees. Uh, for the auto chemicals business, as I said, it was in, under pressure due to demand supply situation, something that we've seen across the industry and that's why the EBITDA was down 24%, margins came in at 8%. But the oil and gas business did much better than what the street was working with. Uh, it has been continuously performing really well. The revenues were down 6% because of lower gas costs. However, the EBITDA increased by 11%, better than what the street was working with. And margins came in at a multi-quarter high of 85%, which compares with 72%. So it's the oil and gas business, the digital business, and the geo business, which has supported growth this time around. And Auto Chemicals has done better than the worst expectations that the analyst community had because of industry pressures. Additionally, the company has also notified that their first new energy giga factory is on track to commence production of solar PV modules by the end of this year. And this is something that the street has been looking forward to and could add uh, multiple EPS upgrades uh, for the stock going forward. But overall, it was a steady set from Reliance this time around. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.